My name's Ian Anderson, I'm a partner at Ice and Harrison Solicitors and I specialise in defending people in complex criminal cases. A non-UK national can commit a modern slavery offence but they will only commit the offence if part of the offence takes place in the UK. So for a slavery or trafficking offence if it involves uh, trafficking a person into the UK, around the UK or out of the UK, then a foreign national can commit the offence. It's always a question of uh, fact, really, and uh, the court will look at all of the circumstances to determine whether the person is being held uh, in slavery or servitude. Generally speaking, if the person is being forced to do things, if they're being forced to work um, or they're being forced to go to places or they're being forced into uh, providing sexual services, then the court will usually uh, find that that person is being held in slavery or servitude. If a person consents to the acts um, that are said to constitute uh, slavery or servitude, um, it is an irrelevance. Consent of, a, of another person uh, to any of the acts that are alleged does not preclude a determination by the court that the person is being held in slavery or servitude. A slavery and trafficking prevention order is a, is a court order it's usually granted on application by the prosecution or by the police to stop a person who is suspected of committing modern slavery or human trafficking offences from uh, doing certain things. Uh, and those things might be arranging travel for third parties, obtaining uh, travel documents belonging to other people or visiting certain areas where they would potentially associate with vulnerable people. If, for example, a person is suspected to be uh, trafficking people into the UK for exploitation, then a slavery and trafficking prevention order might stop that person from possessing a passport or arranging travel uh, for anybody else other than perhaps immediate family members. Uh, and these orders are becoming more commonplace now and they're starting to appear at the beginning of cases uh, where the investigating officers are approaching the magistrate's court and asking for orders to be put in place to stop offending or prevent um, gangs of, of, of people from committing offences. Uh, and then more commonly, they're being used at the end of cases to control uh, people who've been convicted. Any slavery and trafficking prevention order uh, or a slavery and trafficking risk order can be appealed, uh, amended or varied uh, and that's done by way of an application by the defendant, usually through a solicitor, uh, to, to vary the order and that's something that we can carry out. So modern slavery is defined uh, in the Modern Slavery Act uh, as forcing another person to either be in servitude uh, or to um, carry out labour or work um, without giving them a choice. So a person commits a human trafficking offence if they arrange the travel of another person either into, around or out of the United Kingdom for exploitation and the person's got to know or suspect um, that the person that's the subject of the travel is being exploited. If you're being exploited or controlled by other people uh, and they are forcing you to commit criminal offences, uh, then the Modern Slavery Act uh, in Section 45 affords the victim of uh, modern slavery a defence against certain criminal offences that they've carried out because they've been forced or coerced into doing uh, those acts by somebody that's controlling or exploiting them.
Uh, the maximum sentence for human trafficking is life imprisonment. Um, clearly, uh, a life sentence would only be reserved for the most serious cases, but um, there are certainly circumstances where a life sentence could be passed. If you want to speak to me directly, you can get through to me on 0113-284-5062 or to call the office generally, it's 0113-284-5000.